Hi guys, my name is Caroline Hooper, Certified Laser Specialist. In this video, I'm going to be chatting to you guys all about Brazilian hair removal and the three methods involved with removing hair from that area, experiences from myself and clients that I've treated and all the information that you need to know. Yes guys, that's right, today I'm going to be talking to you about something that generally people don't want to talk to you about and that's Brazilian hair removal. When it comes to doing Brazilian laser hair removal, it's very similar to if you've had a wax done before and if you've not had a wax done before, it's basically you shave what you want gone and you don't shave what you want to keep. You can include the lips, you can leave the lips out, you can leave more hair on the top, you can get rid of all the hair on the top. It's basically your preference, what you want um, left on the area. Um, the only difference between the Brazilian and the Hollywood is the Hollywood is everything, so you remove all the hair. Where the Brazilian, you leave what you, you don't shave what you want to keep. So there are three main ways of removing hair, and today I'm going to chat to you guys about all three. Not saying that either one is more suited to you, but it's just my personal opinion and the facts about each. So you can either, either shave a Brazilian, you can wax a Brazilian, or you can do a Brazilian laser hair removal. So when it comes to shaving a Brazilian, for me, I know, and for most of us, it's what we turn to first because we feel it's the least intimidating uh, method to remove the hair. So it comes with some advantages and some disadvantages. And I guess one of the main disadvantages with shaving an area is how often you have to do it. And how often you have to do it means that you're irritating your skin. So you can get like razor burns, razor bumps, um, you can sometimes cut yourself and sometimes you can cut yourself so bad that you scar the area and that's very inconvenient and embarrassing to have on the area that you're trying to be hair free on. Plus the other main disadvantage with having to shave an area is it's very difficult to shave the area and it's, it's quite dangerous as well because you can't fully see what you're doing when you're shaving so if you're continuously having to shave an area and that's the method that you're going to use long term um, you're, you're guaranteed to be cutting yourself every now and again and uh, it's not nice for that to happen. A Brazilian wax is another popular form of removing your hair and uh, one of the advantages that come with waxing is you know when you have your wax done absolutely every single hair on the area is going to be gone so if you're going on a holiday it's a good method to use to be completely hair free for that holiday if you're going on a holiday for like let's say a week or two because you know you're not going to have to worry about shaving the area but one of the big disadvantages that comes with waxing is and it can be quite embarrassing to do is you have to let the hair grow out in order to have the wax done. So that's very embarrassing for most people because the reason why they're having a wax done is because they don't want to see the hair. But in order to have the wax done, you have to let the hair grow. So you're going to be showing the person who's doing the wax for you, your hair. And the downtime for having that wax done, having to let the hair grow for that week or two prior to the wax, if you're sexual, sexually active, that can be pretty embarrassing to have hair on the area for that week or two. Also, you need to have your waxing on every month, so it can become very expensive. And for the short period of time where you're without the hair, you're nearly the same amount of time living with the hair to have the wax done. So it can be very inconvenient in many ways. And then I think if you've experienced wax yourself before, or if you've spoke to anybody who's having waxing before, I think the, the worst thing of all is the pain involved with having the wax done. Because remember, when you're having a wax done, you're pulling all the hairs out at one point and also you're pulling the skin at the same time. So it's very painful to get done, for me anyway. To be honest, I'm pretty grateful for waxing because for all the years that I spent waxing clients and seeing clients going through all the inconvenience of waxing and the pain involved with it is what led us to launch an air business and it's how we have grown so quickly is because we specialize now in laser hair removal and laser hair removal nowadays is the most popular form and the most convenient way of removing hair especially when it comes to removing hair for brazilian or hollywood if you're looking to have a brazilian laser hair removal done or hollywood laser hair removal brazilian laser hair removal would be the, the second most popular area to have done with laser hair removal and um, the most popular one being the hollywood and the reason why laser hair removal is seen nowadays to be the most convenient way of removing hair is because you get a long-term benefit from it. So it's not an ongoing process. Initially, it is an ongoing process to get all your hair in the right stage of growth. And that's why you need to do more than one treatment. 
but it's not as ongoing as waxing. Waxing is for life. You'll always have to go back and have waxing treatment done. With laser hair removal, you're going to achieve upwards of 90% reduction on the area. And if there is any hairs left at the end of a course of treatments, you're probably looking at 10 sporadic hairs that have been damaged so much by the laser that they're very thin and not very much pigment in them, so they're, they're hardly noticeable. Um, and really it's just down to hormones after you've had your laser treatments completed um, to say how frequent you're going to have to have another treatment done. So it's not going to entail shaving again or waxing again. If hormones produce new hairs in the future, you just go in and you have another laser treatment done to get rid of them new hairs. So laser hair removal would be the most effective way to permanently remove your hair and to get rid of the inconvenience of having to do it so frequently. And with the experience I have now speaking with clients who are coming for laser hair removal, it's even their beauticians. The reason why they come into it a lot of the times is because their beauticians has advised them to go and get laser hair removal done if they were having waxing done on their resilient because a lot of people suffer with ingrown hairs on the bikini area and having waxing done doesn't help that situation. It can make it get worse. So even a lot of beauticians now in the business of waxing are advising their clients when they are giving them the best advice um, if they suffer with ingrown hairs is to go and have laser hair removal done. Although you need to shave to have uh, Brazilian laser hair removal done, you need to prepare for your treatment. So you need to shave the area the night before and that can be inconvenient because if you're waxing you have to go back to shaving the area. And that's um, a lot of the times what a lot of clients come into us who've had waxing done aren't happy with doing is going backwards and having to shave the area. But what you need to remember is when you're having laser hair removal, when you're undergoing a course of laser hair removal, the first time you shave, um, it's gonna be difficult because you've not had a laser treatment done, so you're dealing with all of the hair at that point. But as soon as you've had a laser treatment done, the next time you're shaving, you're shaving less hair, and as your treatments go on, it's less and less hair. So it's very easy to shave the area for treatments in the end. So I just wanted to give you guys an insight into the three different methods of removing hair for a Brazilian. So that being shaving, waxing or laser hair removal. And overall, based on my experience doing laser hair removal for clients, they find it the least painful compared to waxing and the most convenient. For me anyway, I could never get waxing done. I tried it on my legs. So painful that I didn't get it done a second time. As far as I went with waxing, it was just the eyebrows. Some people are perfectly fine with waxing. It really depends on the person. Now, over time, when getting waxing done, it can become less painful because you get used to the wax. Um, but it's like that with laser. Each time you come in, you're dealing with less hair on the area because we've killed hairs in previous treatments. So uh, generally, it's less painful overall. Going back years ago, laser would have been painful with older technologies. Um, but nowadays, when the technology has advanced in the modern market, it's, it's virtually pain-free. So I'm going to leave some links below this video, which will give you information on the different types of bikini and also some videos that we've done with clients who are reviewing having laser done on the bikini area. And for more information on laser hair removal, click the link below and make sure to like this video if you like the content of today. If you feel it can help one of your friends or family, make sure to share it with them too. And subscribe to the channel for more information. And I'll see you next time. And remember, feel beautiful, be happy, confidence is key.